Hey YouTube, I am back with another unboxing today. And what you can see in front of you took me some time to get a hold of. And I am ecstatic to get a hold of this. So what you see in front of you is Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Collector's Edition. So back in 2019, uh, the original Mortal Kombat 11 Collector's Edition came out. And that one had a Scorpion's Mask. And that came out here in the U.S., and I think GameStop was the carrier of that one. So, move forward to November of 2020, and Warner decided, Warner Brothers and NetherRealm Studios decided to bring out another collector's edition for Mortal Kombat, the launch of Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Had to get this one, man, to be able to complete the set with the Scorpion Mask, and now I'll have the Sub Zero Mask, and I'm extremely happy to be able to do that so right here in the front of the box you see the score the sub-zero mask excuse me right there then it says mortal kombat awesome and collector's edition and then down here it tells you what is included inside of it it includes mortal kombat 11 ultimate aftermath expansion pack combat pack one and combat pack two all inside of the box and then this edition is for the PS5. So this one only came out over in Europe for game. It did not come to the U.S. You cannot get this in the U.S. The only way you can get this one is by importing it from overseas from the company game store called Game. So as soon as I saw it, I had to scramble to figure out how I was going to get it. And it finally came in the mail today um, from overseas. So I'm super happy about that. The cool thing about the PlayStation 5 and... The Xbox uh, Series X or Xbox One, uh, they're region free. So you don't have to worry about uh, having a game from overseas that will work in your consoles if you decide to import this over here too. All right, so let's look at the side real quick. Right there, you got a Mortal Kombat symbol here. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Collector's Edition right there. On the back here, shows the characters from the combat packs. You got Robocop there, Rain, Rambo, Melina. Thank God Melina is back in the game. One of my favorite characters. Um, if you guys didn't know, you'll know today that Mortal Kombat 2 is probably one of my favorite games of all time. That's what really, really got me into gaming. Spent many, many quarters at the arcade playing Mortal Kombat 2, using Melina, and homing my Mortal Kombat skills in with her. So I'm happy she's there. And then also you have Terminator T2 right there. Or T1, um, or Terminator from T2, whichever you want to look at. It's so right there. Then it tells you you have 37 characters there, two cinematic stories, all features and modes are unlocked there. Down here you can see what comes in here inside the box. You have the game itself. You have the DLC codes. You have a steel book for the Mortal Kombat, and then you have that Scorpion mask right there. What I'll do is I'll link the video for the Scorpion. One, the uh, one that came out in the U.S. in 2019, that collector's edition that had the Scorpion's Mask. I'll link it right above so you guys can check that video out if you want to. All right, so that's that side, and here's the other side here. So let's go ahead and cut this open. Handy dandy Batman unboxing knife. Let's go ahead. Got some tape here at the top. That one's off already, and I think it was some tape on the bottom when I looked at it that's holding this all in. And it is. There we go. I think a lot of people were upset that this didn't come to the U.S., man, but what can you say, right? Especially Mortal Kombat fans, people are pre-ordering these over there and happy to have the Sub-Zero one. But if you are a fan, you got to import it. Ain't nothing wrong with that, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this off. There we go. And as you can see... Put this down on the side. 
Yeah, the big Sub-Zero mask right there. Looking really, really nice on the front and back. Awesome. And let's go ahead and open this up. As soon as you open up the top, you are greeted with the game right there. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Quite sure everybody's seen that before. Cool. And then you have an exclusive... Let's see here in the top here, you have an exclusive Sub-Zero Avalanche uh, code right here in the top. Show you how this looks real quick, but it's also a code on here. There you go. That's the skin right there. Awesome. Put that to the side. And then also you have your Mortal Kombat Steelbook, Mortal Kombat 11 says right there on the front, on the back it just says MK, and then in the inside, you have that blue medallion, Mortal Kombat medallion, awesome, and then you have, looks like it's a two disc right there, case, alright, that to the side. And then what else do we have up here? This is a certificate of authentication or authenticity. This one is 3,139 out of 5,000. So they only made 5,000 of this. And this one is 3,139. This is a metal card inside of the little foam of aluminum foil there. So it's like a metal card really nice man put that over there pull this out let's see what else we got in here so i'm assuming the last thing is the mask or statue so let's go ahead and flip this over let's see if we get it out Side. and let's get this tape off of here sorry if that's bothering anybody's ears And voila. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Take this tape off. This is nice. This looks like leather on the top. There you go. That is the Sub Zero mask right there, man. They did this one really nice. Oh man, this looks so dope, man. When they initially uh, announced the first Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition, Mortal Kombat 11 Collector's Edition, I thought that was going to be a wearable mask. So at first, I was kind of disappointed when I got it the first time. I was like, oh, I thought it was going to be a wearable mask because it said full size mask, but you cannot wear this. You cannot take it office pedestal here if you look down there it is put into the mask itself so you can't put that in there but this here feels like real leather to me or like a leather coating it's nice man real nice detail on this oh, wow they did an excellent job man this looks really nice let me bring it closer to the screen wow look at that Sweet. So that is the Sub Zero mask. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to go grab my Scorpion mask so you can see both of those side by side. Be right back. 
All right, through the magic of editing, I am back. So here in front of you, what you can see on the left here is the Sub-Zero mask. You can see all the detail that was put into this one. And then here on the right is the Scorpion mask. And you can see all the detail that was put into this one also. So the Scorpion one came out in the U.S. We got that one in 2019. And then this here, Sub-Zero one, came out in 2020, November of 2020. And that was only in Europe, only overseas. It was an exclusive to Game, uh, was the exclusive holder to this one. And I just think it looks awesome. I'm super happy to have the pair. And I'd be able to put both of these on my shelf right next to each other. So I cannot wait to put that up there and, you know, have it displayed in the game room but you can see right next to each other how those look you can see the sub-zero one looks a lot newer <laughs> this has been sitting on a shelf and i even wiped it down and and that's still um how it looks you can tell the color difference there you go that's the backs of both of them these look nice man i really still wish that these were actual Ma uh, wearable mask if you could wear these these would have been dope because these have great detail in them man they look really really nice so i like both of those all right and then so just to recap what came in this one right here the mortal kombat 11 ultimate edition one you got the still book case right there really nice has a uh, pendant in the inside you get uh a Sub-Zero DLC costume, you get the authenticity metal card right there, and then you get the actual game with all the DLC. Let's go ahead and crack this open real quick. Because the Mortal Kombat, um, that case is still booked. Has two discs in there, so I'm going to assume that this is two discs. I wouldn't imagine they would put two discs in there if it wasn't. And nope, I was wrong. So it just has two discs in there. And then in here it has your code for Combat Pack 1, your Aftermath Expansion, and your Combat Pack 2. Code expires in 2030. Then you also have a code in here for, let's see, use this code above to access downloadable content for, let's see here, for Avalanche Sub-Zero skin. So that's what comes inside of the package. And obviously I'm not showing the code because I'm going to use those codes for my PS5. But that is what, it also comes with a book right there, which is pretty awesome. And that is how it looks in the inside right there. Really dope, man. So I am ecstatic to have that, man. So if uh, you guys are interested in this right here, the only place that I can tell you right now to go is eBay to pick it up. Um, get it while you can because the prices are going up. There are people in the U.S. that are selling that thing for $1,000 because it's uh, shipping from the U.S. And it's extremely rare. As you saw, it's only 5,000 of them. Um, it was not sold in the U.S. You have to get it imported. But if you get it imported from overseas, you can get it for a little bit cheaper from someone sending it from overseas. But you just have to wait. Because uh, I ordered this the, when it came out in November. And I'm just now getting it here in, uh, in January. So I ordered it a while ago, man. I'm just now getting it. So it did take a while. And I tracked it and followed it the whole time uh, until it got here. I make sure that I got it. So I really do like it. So if you guys, uh, you know, did enjoy the video, please be the cool guy or girl to drop a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. So when I post new content and cool things like this, you'll be notified to swing over to the channel and check them out. And I do appreciate you guys coming and checking out this unboxing. And I'll check you on the next one.